Okay, so before this whole COVID thing hit back in January, I got to take a trip to Nashville. Tom, I, first of all, I loved Nashville, but love the Southern comfort food there. So you're at Bell's Nashville Kitchen in Old Town Scottsdale. Tell me yeah. they have hot chicken, because that's the thing. Of, of course they have hot chicken. You know, it's funny, because I was just in Nashville in October. My son just moved there with his wife, and so I was checking it out too. Now, I'm really not a spicy chicken guy, but I do love fried chicken, who doesn't? And Nashville's such a fun place. So, but yeah, we're right at Main Street and Scottsdale Road in Old Town Scottsdale, Bell's Nashville Kitchen. And I've got the big cheese with me. Mike Haley's the owner. Mike, how you doing, man? I'm doing well, how you doing? Yeah, thanks for having us here. I like the setup. It's set up kind of like a honky tonk, isn't it? It is, absolutely. Traditional honky tonks are thin, narrow, long, that's what we're going for here at Bell's Nashville Kitchen. Very cool. Now let's walk our, make our way down the bar. I know you, sure. you set up a bunch of food for us. Absolutely. Uh, Troy was asking, uh, you know, what, what is Nashville food? Like when, you, when people say, when you go to Nashville, put a, put a thumb on it. What well, is, it, it's hot chicken. That's what you get. Chicken. It's the hot chicken. And what is the history of the hot chicken? <laughs> you know, I wish I had a little bit more information on that, but I have no idea. All I know is it's delicious and people love it. Yeah, so. I was on a, uh, here's the story that I got when I was on a, a, a little tour. They were saying that this guy's uh, wife was mad that he kept coming home late from the bars. So she made chicken and she goes, I'm going to get him this time. I'm going to make it really, really hot. So she made it really, really hot and he loved it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he took the recipe, and then that's what, that's what they I, said. I love it. Hey, <laughs> if they say it, must be true. Well, I love your menu. It looks like a lot of fun. Let's start with dessert. Is this a dessert up here? This is actually a breakfast item on our brunch what? menu. It looks like a dessert. Yeah, no, it? it is. It's a, uh, it's a, basically, it's a strawberry shortcake with biscuits. Oh, how fun is that? And then what are we coming to next? And this time? is our hot chicken and biscuit sandwich with an egg on it. I love the biscuit. It looks so beautiful. Oh, it's homemade. tasty. It is. Everything is homemade. And then my favorite, the toast and chicken. Uh, Nashville hot chicken on French toast. Yeah, so you're putting it on every meal. Oh, man, it's breakfast. it's delicious. It goes with everything. This is the traditional classic sandwich. Yes. Uh, we have coleslaw. We have our hot paste, which is a little different than traditional Nashville. It's a little less greasy. I was going to ask you about that. So you were talking about when you add the spice, you guys actually use a paste. Yes, we make the paste in-house, and it's more of a paste, not traditionally dumped in the fryer spicy oil. It's more of a paste, so it gives a little bit more flavor and... We gotta, you gotta watch cool. your girl's figure. Do you have different levels of hot? And, and as you just tell me that, what are we looking at here? Uh, these are the honky tonk fries. These are fries with, uh, uh, they're chip fries. They're almost a cross between a French fry and a chip. Uh, some bacon and blue cheese dressing with some Nashville hot paste on it. It's that delicious. Good. Now, what this cracks? Uh, this oh, is God. our mac and cheese sandwich. <laughs> and you can elaborate on this. You can put hot chicken on it, you can put bacon on it. Did that and, make its way over from Memphis, from Elvis's house? Because that looks like something Elvis would totally wolf up. I think it's his neighbor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a macaroni and cheese sandwich cracking me up. And what's the final thing we're looking uh, at? These are Kool-Aid pickles. They are pickles, pickles. basically tossed in uh, Kool-Aid and fried and breaded, and uh, they're... They are very good. Oh my gosh, it looks fantastic. Now you have a full range of kind of old school cocktails, yes. don't you? Yes, yes. All the cocktails are made uh, kind of by hand. We make all the simple syrups in house. We, um, uh, we make all the <clears throat> all the other ingredients in house. Classic and then, Bloody Mary. This isn't just a special on Sundays, is it? No. Wanna, this is what you make every time. Every day we can do this, and uh, it's a Bloody Mary. We have our famous pig candy on it, which is uh, uh, bacon coated with. Uh, pralines, and we have a Nashville hot skewer on it, and uh, you know it's a meal in a glass. Very cool, Mike. I'm so glad you opened. Now you guys are actually opening up on the 12th, right? That's yes, that's time? our grand opening. Uh, we've opened uh, softly, kind of quietly, November 10th or the 20th. Yeah. We work out the kinks, make sure everything's good to go on the 12th, and here we go. It's Very party. Cool. Well, we'll have more ahead, you guys. Again, we're at Bell's Nashville Kitchen. Downtown Scott, Old Town Scottsdale, I should say. Oh, uh, is that I, a Manhattan? I mean, it's such a honky tonk. What are we making? Here? You're making me a Manhattan. Oh, this is no. um, this is an old fashioned. Actually, old yes, fashion. this is the old fashioned with a big old. cube. There you go. And then this is our cold brew fashioned. Oh, real style. Oh, with cold brew. Oh yeah. Brews. And don't forget, it's not done quite yet. Okay. Bell's Nashville Kitchen, you guys, check it out. They got all that classic hot chicken for, for I'll sure. Let this guy finish off his cold brew fashion. Oh my goodness. Taste of the town, Tom Fergus. Let's go right to him in Scottsdale. And uh, this is a pretty cool spot, Tommy. You're gonna have to show us how they make these chicken sandwiches. They look delicious. 
Yeah, I tell you what, Celeste, dent them up if you're coming down because this is a honky tonk. And check out this this whole bench that they have here with these tables. And I've got my old fashioned with me, but it really does feel like you're in a national bar, like an old honky tonk. It's a lot of fun. And of course, Mike Haley's with me. Again, we're at the the Bell's Nashville Kitchen. What inspired you to do that, Mike? Uh, trips to Nashville. Really? Uh, three years ago, one of my really good friends moved there. Went and visited him, I don't know, half a dozen times. Fell in love with the vibe, the energy. And yeah. I said, Old Town Scottsdale needs a honky tonk. Well, we love Music City, so you got some guitars on the wall. I'm going to take you back into the kitchen. <clears throat> I've been into a lot of kitchens, but I've never been into one like this, which looks like you're walking right into a saloon. It's so much fun. Okay, health department. I always <laughs> like yelling that out loud just so they, they kind of sprinkle around. Now, Mike, I love these biscuits. Tell me about your biscuits. These look like you made them just like half an hour ago. They were made half an hour ago. They're beautiful. Everything we do is, uh, is made in-house. The dressings, the simple syrups, the biscuits, everything. What are you using the biscuits with? What uh, recipes are you throwing in there? Uh, so that's mostly for our brunch. We have our biscuit chicken sandwich that has bacon and an egg on it. And then we also have our biscuits and uh, strawberries and whipped cream, which is like a yeah, shortcake. We saw that out there. That's delicious. Okay, I got Chef Eric out here. He's going to make a classic Nashville hot chicken sandwich. It starts with the slaw, huh? Yep, starts with the slaw. And the slaw, what we do is, uh, it's not pre-made and mixed overnight. What it is, um, is we mix it right here so it's crunchy when it gets out to the table. Now, here's the paste oil we were talking about early. It's kind of a mixture, I guess. A little yeah. bit of the oil and a little bit of the paste instead of just oil. Exactly. It's a little hybrid, um, and it's uh, you know it's not as greasy, and it's not as messy, and it's great flavor. Now, i got to be honest with you. When my son went to Nashville with his buddies, uh, right in the middle of lunch while they were eating a hot chicken sandwich, his friend Matt turned to him and said, are my gums bleeding? <laughs> this stuff gets hot. Yeah, it, it can get hot. We have two different versions. We have a regular version. We have a spicy version. And uh, if you're not into spice, uh, come get it no spice. The grilled chicken's amazing. See, that's a nice way to go. I like the no spice. That's a good call. Chef Eric, thanks for whipping that up for us, man. That looks fantastic. Of course, you're going to throw some french fries on there. As oh, well. absolutely. Yeah, let's make our way. Oh, you going to throw some fries on yes, there for sir, us? Yes, throw some fries on there. Oh, beautiful. You know me. I'm addicted to french fries and potatoes <laughs> and chalk, a lot of other things. But... What kind of fries are these, Mike? Uh, so there's a, uh, what they call it, a dipping fry. So They're, it's... The lamb was a dipping fry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a little dipping fries. Oh, those look fantastic. Oh, yeah. So they're kind of like a chip, but they're kind of like a fry. Kind of a fry, kind of a chip. They're cool. crunchy, they're not soggy, and what, they're, they last when you get them to go. What are these other fries we're throwing on the other side of that? Sir? Classic season uh, sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries. All right, throw them in there, Chef Eric. All Just right. throw a couple on the side there. Yeah, we'll take there this. We go. We're going back out to the honky tonk. Oh, Come yeah. Outside, you guys. Honky Tonk After time. Taking this to the table and walking through these barn doors. I love this. This is so cool. But again, I love the atmosphere. It really does make you feel like you're in Nashville. Oh, absolutely. Tell everybody your hours and exactly where we're located. Okay, we're on Scottsdale Road in Maine. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 a.m. We serve food till 12:30 uh, a.m. And Saturday and Sunday, we open at 9 a.m. for brunch. And uh, it's our Honky Tonk brunch. We're going to have a live music going on, and uh, it's going to be a great vibe. Oh, that's really fun. And if you're, if you're coming, come, come here for lunch, you might as well get a Bloody Mary because that will really get it going. So tell me, uh, Celeste and Troy, uh, what's your favorite dish here as you look at all these fancy schmancies here? I've got to have that hot chicken oh, sandwich, chicken sandwich. I think. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then after that, the French toast and actually all of it. I'm sorry. Do I have to pick? Yeah, Kool-Aid pickles. That sounds amazing. Uh, those fries, though, those look amazing, too. The fries are good. Tom, how did they get the fries look at in that. that shape? And it's right there. It's, it's, it's a great spot right there uh, in the central part of, of Old Town Scottsdale, too. So and that's going to be on my walk. list for sure. Uh, great check job, it out. Tommy. Great job, everybody. Thanks so much for Have watching today. We'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday Eve already. What happened to this week? Uh,